but that's all we got. I don't trust scientists, and I don't trust historians. I don't believe in my official education. Oh, and then the uh, transgender stuff. When I was a little girl, I saw a movie called um, La Vita and Rose or something like that. In Rosé. A French movie called My Life in Pink. My Life in Pink. It was all about this little boy who thought he was a girl. And he believed that God had played a trick on him and put a, his girl spirit in a boy's body. And apparently it's a true story. Back in the 80s, maybe. Well, he gets bullied at school and his family gets harassed. And, and But it was a beautiful movie. And I remember from that day forward, I was pro transgenderism. I remember thinking, I if I had a little boy, I'd be happy if he thought he was a girl. I'd dress, not only would I dress him up in girls' clothes, I'd put on a dress. Well, obviously I'd put on a dress because I am a girl. <laughs> but what they didn't tell me in that movie was that 40 years later, there'd be these terrifying stripper type guys who would come to your local library and try to brainwash your kids into thinking that we're horrible people who pick on guys in women's clothing. What we used to call transvestites. Yeah. They just bullied their way straight over gay and lesbian people. No, we're the most uh, oppressed people. It's like, how are you oppressed? You get parades in the street. You know? You're celebrated by the brainwashed. Hey, Wally Bear, what's going on, brother? Push you. Wally Bear is transgendered. I'm sorry, Wally, I didn't mean to out you, but yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding, you guys. He's not really. I don't know if he is. He could be. But I've had people, you know, these people are always asking for tolerance. They're totally intolerant of me just speaking my beliefs. No, I'm sorry. I don't. I never, I, I no longer believe that's a thing. I'm sure. You believe it, or I don't know what you believe. I don't care. My logic and science and common sense have told me there are men and there are women. In any dash equa. Up until 2020, that wasn't a, something that would make you lose friends. That wasn't a su subject that made people go, Ooh, why are you talking about this? You know, stupid. Oh, here's one too, along with that. So in the 90s, late 80s actually, 1989, I remember I joined the 10% Society, they called it. 10%. In 1990, they said 10% of the population was gay, or lesbian, or bi. Just that. You have those three options. Nobody mentioned transgenderism. There's no such thing in 1989. And, you know, I was always, like, friendly with the theater people and the artists and the poets in the college. So half my friends were just flaming alpha male homosexuals. Some of my favorite people. We're just, you know, out there. I always, I just vibed with gay men. 
And also in the 80s, they had like secret, like speakeasy clubs. You hear a, there'd be a rumor around campus. Yeah, it was called My Place. There was a gay bar in Fargo called My Place and only open at certain times. And there was a secret way to drive into the parking lot. You had to drive down a, a one-way, one-car road just around the building. Um, yeah, like you kind of had to know how to get into the parking lot before you could really go. And then you went to this warehouse, and inside was a big old disco and a bar. And you'd walk through and it'd just be gay people. And Madonna music. Or Frankie Goes to Hollywood. Relax, don't do it. Do, 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 do. Relax. And uh, I remember going in there going, oh, wow, man. Oh, that guy's gay? I didn't know. Oh, that guy? You know. And it was fun. You get to dance. And it was a nice, there was no like rednecks or angry drunk guys. There was none of that, um... I mean, I guess it was a pickup place, but it was just guys picking up guys. And I guess girls picking up girls. But there wasn't, it didn't, it felt safer than a regular bar, oddly enough. Well, because America is a accepting place, in spite of all the censorship on YouTube and in spite of the high schools and colleges being intolerant of dissenting views. The regular person in America is pretty cool. Everyone says, what you do is fine. It's none of my business. Just, you know, leave me out of it. Even in the 80s, nobody cared about who was gay. You know? There was a few movies that tried to make it look like, oh no, Matthew Shepard, he was picked on for being gay. Nope, <laughs> he was a drug dealer who got beat up and killed by other drug dealers, rednecks, whatever. <laughs>